Is it always this crazy? No, it's a shock for me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be looking at the most famous Hollywood actors who tragically lost their lives as a result of an accident. I'm fortunate because I've been offered and uh, given the opportunity to work on some great projects yeah. uh, with great people. Bob Saget. On January 9th, 2022, while on a stand-up tour in Florida, Bob Saget was found dead in his Ritz-Carlton hotel room. The beloved actor and comedian rose to prominence as Danny Tanner on the ABC sitcom Full House. Okay, are we gonna have fun or what? <laughs> hey, 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 let's see some smile. He was also the original host of America's Funniest Home Videos and continued to perform stand-up after Full House ended. It was like part of you was missing. It was like part of all of us was missing. But we stuck it out and we got through it. Just like we always do. Just like we always will. Saget's shocking demise led to an outpouring of tributes from colleagues and fans alike, but it wasn't until an autopsy was conducted that the cause of his death was revealed. It appears the actor died from blunt head trauma, likely due to an accidental fall he hadn't deemed serious. Everything that I've been surrounded by has been a reminder of him and, you know, memory of him. And so it's been um, very, very sad, but also very beautiful. Saget was laid to rest five days later in a private ceremony. Jane Mansfield. She was the quintessential blonde bombshell who led a scandalous life and drew comparisons to Marilyn Monroe. Jane Mansfield was the archetypal 1950s Hollywood dumb blonde. But behind the pinup image was a complex and intelligent woman. While her films weren't very popular in real life, Jane Mansfield played the role of a movie star to perfection. However, her stint in the limelight was brief as she met her untimely end at the age of 34. On June 29, 1967, Mansfield embarked on a road trip from Biloxi, Mississippi to New Orleans for a TV interview. At that period in her life, she was not a good early riser. And what she wanted to do was while she was still awake, was she wanted to get her and the family to New Orleans so they could stay in a hotel so she could be right there. Accompanying her were her lawyer and partner Sam Brody, a hired driver, and her three children, one of whom was a young Mariska Hargitay. Tragically, the journey ended in a ghastly accident that claimed the lives of all three adults, while the children escaped with minor injuries. Hollywood star, the buxom and beautiful Jane Mansfield, is dead. She was killed instantly when the car she was riding in collided with a truck a few miles from New Orleans early this morning. Matthew Perry. Best known for playing the quick-witted Chandler Bing on Friends, Matthew Perry's career continued to blossom even after the show came to an end. What brings you here? Um, some of your mail mysteriously found its way into my mailbox. What? What? Oh yeah, Sportscasters Hall of Fame. Mm. That's me. But despite his success, Perry personally dealt with substance use disorder, which sometimes affected his career. On October 28, 2023, the actor was found dead in a pool at his Los Angeles residence, but the cause was initially unclear. A post-mortem investigation eventually ruled it an accident attributed to acute effects of ketamine, which were compounded by drowning in coronary heart disease. It is sometimes used recreationally, it can be found illegally, but recently it's also been studied for its potential to treat mental health disorders, including depression, and now it's being blamed for the death of Matthew Perry. Apparently, Perry had been undergoing ketamine-assisted psychotherapy to manage his anxiety. His death was a tragic loss for many fans who had grown to cherish Perry and indeed considered him a friend. He was happy, and he said so, and he hadn't said that for a long time. It's a source of comfort, but also, you know, he didn't get to have his third act, and um, that's, that's not fair. Chance Perdomo. With prominent roles in shows like Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Gen V, Chance Perdomo seemed poised for a flourishing career in Hollywood. You lost? I got it. Thanks. Well, there's some sweet moves last night. I was coming up with your superhero name. You want to hear it? Bloody Marie. Sadly, all of that promise was cut short in March 2024, when the 27-year-old actor lost his life in a motorcycle accident. Although details surrounding the incident remain limited, reports indicate that it occurred while Perdomo was en route from upstate New York to Toronto for the filming of the second season of Gen V. His untimely demise led to the suspension of production on the show. Perdomo will be fondly remembered for his boundless charm and undying passion for his craft. I just keep hearing his laugh. I just keep hearing his laugh, and he just, he was such a champion of so many people and he was so open and understanding and kind and talented. Anton Yelchin. 
A defective gear shift design in Fiat's Grand Cherokee line of cars tragically caused the death of actor Anton Yelchin. Yelchin was a rising star in Hollywood, appearing in a slew of successful movies, most notably the Star Trek reboot series. My calculations are correct. They're creating a singularity that will consume the planet. They're creating a black hole at the center of Vulcan? Yes, sir. On June 19, 2016, at just 27, Yelchin died when his car rolled backwards on the steep driveway of his L.A. home, trapping him against a brick pillar and a security fence. He was discovered by his friends after he failed to show up for a planned rehearsal. Notably, the Grand Cherokee's faulty design had prompted a vehicle recall just two months prior to the tragic incident. But I think the focus really has to be to celebrate his life <laughs> and his incredible spirit and uh, at such a young age, he was only 27 years old, but he made such incredible contributions mm. creatively and, and made so many wonderful films, and people that worked with him just absolutely adored him. Yeah. Following Yelchin's passing, Fiat reached a settlement with his family in a lawsuit. Naya Rivera After years working as a child actress and model, Naya Rivera found fame as Santana Lopez on Glee. Britt and I were wondering if you wanted to go out. Uh, on a date? Or with which one of you? Both of us. She remained on the show until its conclusion in 2015, the same year she welcomed her son Josie with fellow actor Ryan Dorsey. On July 8, 2020, fans were thrown for a loop when Rivera was declared missing after a boat trip with her son at Lake Piru. Do you remember what you said in those final FaceTime I, I told her, I go, well, the water's getting choppy. And I said, I love you and uh, call me. Uh, call me when you get off the water. While Josie was found unharmed shortly after, Rivera remained missing until divers discovered her body six days later. At the age of 33, the actress had died from accidental drowning after managing to save her son. Upon the news of her death, social media was awash with tributes from fans and several high-profile figures. I honestly don't think that she even knew the impact that she had. People would come up to her all the time and say, you saved my life. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee followed in the footsteps of his father, legendary martial artist and action star Bruce Lee, forging a career for himself in Hollywood. After appearing in a few mildly successful films, he landed what was set to be his breakthrough role in the 1994 superhero flick The Crow. Lee was almost done shooting all of his parts when tragedy struck. While filming a scene in which his character would be shot and killed, the prop gun malfunctioned and accidentally discharged a dummy bullet, which struck Lee in the abdomen. Mr. Lee's heart stopped and efforts to resuscitate him were unsuccessful. Wednesday afternoon, Brandon Lee was pronounced dead. He was rushed to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries hours later. Lee was laid to rest next to his father, who had also died prematurely. He was in, you know, critical condition. Somehow at that point, I don't know, I mean, I've, I've got chills down right down my spine, and I felt that uh, he's not going to make it. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman was more than just gifted and versatile. He was magnetic. Those are Mr. Lebowski's children, oh, different so mothers, to speak. Huh? No, they're not. Racially, he's pretty cool. <laughs> they're not literally his children. They're the little Lebowski urban achievers. As an actor, Hoffman had a wealth of distinctive characters under his belt, earning him an Academy Award along the way. In his personal life, however, Hoffman dealt with substance use disorder, but he sought rehabilitation early on and managed to stay sober for a long time. And why did you decide to stop? You get panicked. You get panicked. It was, um, I was 22 and I got panicked for my life. It really was. It was just that. Unfortunately, Hoffman relapsed in 2012 and tragically passed away two years later in his apartment after ingesting a lethal drug cocktail, which was ruled an accident. His death deeply affected the film industry, with many mourning the loss of his immense talent. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1, one of his final movies, was dedicated to his memory. I need you to join this team now. I need someone she trusts. James Dean. Although a hugely popular film star, James Dean only starred in one film that saw the light of day during his lifetime. You're right. I am bad. I knew that for a long time. I didn't mean that, Cal. I spoke in anger. Mm -hmm. It's true. Dean had appeared in a series of uncredited roles before landing a part in 1955's East of Eden, which earned him an Oscar nomination. In September 1955, just a few months after the film's release, Dean was traveling to participate in a sports car racing competition when his Porsche 550 collided with another vehicle. There was a car coming in the opposite direction that was going to turn in front of James Dean. I think that his reaction was, 
I'm a race car driver and I'm going to have to outmaneuver this car. But he lost control. The actor sustained severe injuries in the accident and was rushed to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead on arrival at the age of 24. Rebel Without a Cause, the film for which he's best remembered, was released one month later. Why do we do this? You gotta do something. Now, don't you? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Heath Ledger At just 28, Heath Ledger had already amassed a diverse range of roles that could rival many seasoned actors. Pick up on Friday, then. Oh, right. Friday. Uh-huh. Well, the night I take you places you've never been before. Like where? The 7-Eleven on Broadway? Do you even know my name, screwboy? I know a lot more than you think. From the queer-themed western Brokeback Mountain to playing an iteration of Bob Dylan in I'm Not There and embodying the Joker in The Dark Knight, there was almost nothing Ledger couldn't do. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? but his unwavering dedication to his craft came at a cost. Throughout the production of The Dark Knight, Ledger struggled with insomnia, which led him to misuse prescription drugs. Unfortunately, on January 22, 2008, mere months before the film's premiere, Ledger was found dead in his home, having accidentally overdosed on prescription medications. I've found meanings around the circumstance, but the actual event itself still doesn't have a... I can't find a... I can't find it. I can't find a meaning for it. He didn't live long enough to see his performance earn widespread acclaim and ultimately the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Which of these accidental actor deaths affected you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Leslie Jordan may have suffered a medical emergency, causing him to lose control of his gray BMW before crashing into the side of this building here in Hollywood. Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.